Never in this one. Disorderly conduct last night. Aloy, what brings you to Meridian? A threat. Helis commands a legion of fanatics called the Eclipse. They will attack soon from the west, with an army of ancient war machines. But that's not the worst of it. They'll bring a mind with them, god, demon, machine, whatever you want to call it. It's called Hades. And it doesn't want Meridian at all. It wants the Spire. And if it gets there, it will send out a call, waking more ancient machines, more than we could ever defeat. All will be lost. We can't let that happen. I'm trying to understand, but my responsibility lies with Meridian. Meridian isn't the target of Odd. You have to defend the Spire. Perhaps the Vanguard, your Radiance. Yes. Send them to the Spire. Aaron knows Aloy. He won't question it. And have the city guard fortify the western ridge. There they can be seen to protect Meridian and the Alight with spire rests. Aloy. Allow me to... apologize for my behavior before. After everything that happened with Ursa, I was confused. If we're to fight together on the brink of life and death, I'd prefer to do so with your forgiveness. Then you have it. As long as you don't confuse me with her again. Even a king can learn his lesson. Good then. 
I'm... I'm glad that's behind us. Now, it will take time to prepare our defenses. Please, tell me what you know of our enemies. Everything. I don't know about everything, but I'll tell you what I can. Have you spoken to Blameless Murad? Not yet, but I will. He wishes to speak to you. Defensive preparations are his responsibility. Quietly does it. Panic in the city will only create another enemy. And do keep me appraised of each new arrival. Ah, Aloy. Preparations are underway on the ridge defenses and at the spire. Word was sent to every corner of the Sundom. Our allies offered their steel. Some came for Meridian, others for shards. But many came for you, by name. For me. Don't be so humble. The ridge will be the front line. That's where the city guard are holding? Yes, bolstered by some of the uh, irregulars I spoke of before. The Osaram cannons that thundered Meridian's walls in the Liberation will now defend us. You're welcome to tour the defenses. And the Spire. Erend and the Vanguard are there? Indeed. Uh, clashing breastplates together and testing out their battle cries, I suppose. A number of the Nora have also arrived at the Spire. They have resisted the offer of a royal audience. Perhaps you could parley with them. I will. I suppose all we can do is wait for the attack. Exactly. It's not a feeling I cherish, but our spotters at Evening Sign report there's still no movement in the West. So, if there's more you need to do elsewhere, seize this time to do it. Otherwise, I've made the apartment of Olin Delverson available to you. You can sleep there, if sleep comes. By the sun, the enemy is coming.
Let's have a chat. No, a colorful discussion. Able-bodied adventurers. <laughs> starting. Petra. Here she is, the guest of honor. I knew there was something about you, hammered from the stuff they make leaders out of. And I don't say that to every Nora girl who blows through my town. That happens to you a lot? <laughs> Had to build a wall to fend them off. <laughs> Good thing I'm persistent then. <laughs> I've missed our little talks. Murad asked me to look over the city arsenal. These guns have aged well. That runs in the Osram, no? They were the pride of the Mainspring Forges, so I've taken greater pride in improving them. Can I try one? Everybody wants a turn. Have at it, then. The targets should put up a little less of a fight than those bandit raiders did. Wide. No need to aim like a bow. Range is good. Try the next. See? That'll knock a machine on its ass, ancient or no. With these, I can we can hold off an army. You know that I appreciate your help, Petra. This battle, I don't know what's gonna happen. We'll see each other again, I know it. Next time could be the time I'll convince you to stick with the free heap. Petra, you know I... I do, I do. Always had a weakness for restless girls, though. I don't make weapons for a living. It's more of a diversion. The city always ground my gears. But I'd miss it if it were gone. You take care of yourself and the cannons.
I don't make weapons for a living. It's more of a diversion. The city always ground my gears. But I'd miss it if it were gone. Have you just polished that armor, Luzit? Of course. Isn't that a little... What? Nothing. Out with it, woman. Forget I said anything. You look very dignified. Thank you. And shiny. Very shiny. Little Huntress, you called, so here I am. Ready to fight? Fight? I thought you just wanted tea and conversation. Is there a battle coming? I wasn't informed. Well, that can't be true. You're always informed. Ah, so I am. We've only met a few times, and yet you know me so well. I don't think I know you at all. But I'd like to. Hmm. When I hear that line, it usually means something else. Can I tell you a secret? Of course. I've been waiting for this fight my whole life. The enemy we face today is the same that turned Meridian into a slave pit and Sunfall into a bloodbath. Fanatics who torture and murder mothers, fathers, families, children, and say it's the will of the sun. I hate them, Aloy. I've got the scars of their whips on my back to prove it. And today, we can get rid of them once and for all. I said I came for you, but that was only half the truth. I came for them. This time, they're not getting away. I'm with you, Vanasha. We'll fight them together. And I won't forget it, little Huntress. Tomorrow, may the sun rise in a better world. I only fight when I have to. But by the time I have to, I usually want to. I've put something special on the tips of my arrows for the Eclipse. Aloy? Um, at ease, Uthid. Meridian will be glad to have you on its side. And I am too. The honor is mine. You saved my epitaph from being a fine soldier but a fool of a man. I'm hoping you won't need any kind of epitaph just yet. As the sun wills. When you found me, I was trying to eke out a glorious death. But now, a glorious life seems more preferable. To watch Edelman play in the low gardens again. Still surrounded by a dozen guards, but... What you did, Aloy, it was done well. Although, I can't shake this road, Vinasha. She delights in goading me. Like brazen colors waved before a behemoth. Do you want me to ask her to stop? No. I accept it. Well then. Meridian shall stand and shadow shall fall. I swear it. Here's to that, Uthid. It's too bad Bahavas isn't here to see his little friends crushed. The sun is my armor. This other armor I wear is a safeguard. Always for a Sun King. Always for Meridian. Every battle we hope to make the last. For the other side. I only fight when I have to. But by the time I have to, I usually want to. Aloy. I told you I'd be here. You did, Teb. But have your wounds even had time to heal? Honestly, if I fought, I'd probably come undone. But don't worry. I'll leave that to the other Nora at the Spire. I brought supplies instead. These Karja have made me an honorary quartermaster, whatever that means. <laughs> it sounds impressive. I could get used to it. We'll be setting up caches of arms and medicine under these banners. Look for them when the fighting starts. Aloy? When you went into the mountain... Did the goddess tell you our chances? She didn't need to. I know we can do this, Teb. Maybe we can. Yeah, they're fighting machines. Chasing around right here.
This place really couldn't be more different to the sacred land, could it? There are materials like I've never seen in the markets above. I tried to explain stitchers and makers to these Karja. You'd think that wouldn't take much explaining. Got to take over my brother's shift today. I'm sure, as the sun rises off court in that no really girl. couldn't be more different to the sacred land, could it? How many men do you think you'll kill in the battle, Luther? As many as I have to. I love it when you say things like that. It's so... What? Cheerful. <sighs> Lakoa, you came to fight. How could I not? During the Red Raids, there was only one Karja Butcher the Nora feared more than Zaid. Helos, I would stand against any army he leads, no matter how strong, for the Nora he terrorized, for myself, and for my father. We'll stop him. You have my word. Your word means a lot, especially now. Because of you, I hear the sacred land is opened. If we win, I can go home. It'll be good to see Jan again. I'm with you, Aloy. Until the end. Like you said, we'll stop Helis cold. Together. I hear they call you the Anointed now. The matriarchs and the rituals. <laughs> Jan's probably eating it up. It's strange to fight alongside the Karja. But I guess they're like any tribe. Some kind, some vicious. Like you said, we'll stop Helis cold. Together. Geneva. They called you back to duty. So, you're the one behind all this commotion? Who made Sun King Avad finally show his sword arm from behind those robes? A king can be fierce and fair, Geneva. He's a good man. A smart man, too. He had Murad offer all my prisoners a royal pardon if they'd fight for Meridian. The whole motley lot of them agreed. Didn't take much convincing. With your kind of convincing? I don't doubt it. Ha! This time I went easy on them. Those who commit the crime of attacking Meridian, they'll see less of my lenient side. May the sun blaze at your back, Aloy. That's a nice spear, Uthid. Thank you. I like the way you grip it. Enough, woman. Can't fault my prisoners' discipline. All those dawn drills have served them well. After it's all over, I might be the only one going back to the rock. How'd you like that? I've waited two years for this war to break. I can wait a little longer. Can't fault my prisoners' discipline. All those dawn drills have served them well.
You're the hunter from the Banuk Grove. I remember you also, Nora. The machines shook free of their slumber after you arrived. Raged and fought. Uh, well, that, that wasn't my fault. No, I'm thanking you. That night, I decided I would not go back to Banur. I would take my hunt into these lands. So many machines, even demons. Spidery, skittering, without the blue light in them. Dead things that must be killed again. Our enemies dug up an army of them. An army? Yes, that's why I came. Good. I'll wait. From their metal bones, I'll make my armor and my song. My spear is sharp. My will is like the oldest ice. If I live or die, they'll call my name down glacier cracks. From their metal bones, I'll make my armor and my song. Talana, why are you here? I'm your hawk. Where else would I be? Defending Meridian with Avad? I leave that to the rest of the Lodge. I will not stand aside while one of mine fights alone. Not again. Are you sure you... You're risking your life for all of us. You can't ask me to stand by and watch. Not when I have the power to change it. Then I won't ask you. It's settled. I will fight by your side. My only request... Name it. Leave the biggest machine for me. <laughs> no promises. When you need me, I'll follow your lead. I came prepared. I have arrows enough to take down five armies. Hawk and Thrush, ready for the battle to start. When you need me, I'll follow your lead. Rises taller than the highest tree. These cards are in their frilled armor look like turkeys. But there are so many. And now we are so few. They are not our foe. Not this time. Quiet now. She comes. The anointed. War Chief Sona. War Chief, you you seem uncomfortable. The Nora do not belong here. I do not belong here. I will fight the metal devil that threatens us all, but my place is in the sacred land. The wrongness here jags at me like an arrowhead. I'm sorry to put you through this. Do not be sorry. This will be ended. My spear, my word. The Karja do not impress me to build so tall is to invite the fate of the ancients. We will stand tall, for we are the strength of the Nora. Your fight is ours. You know it to be so. The Karja do not impress me. To build so tall is to invite the fate of the ancients.
Greetings, Aloy. Don't. You don't need to bow. The anointed doesn't like it. She doesn't much like being called anointed, either. It means a lot to have you here, Varl. I gave my word. So, Meridian, what do you think? I've seen many new things since I first met you. I should thank you. Varl, what's wrong? You really want to know? All right. I'm in a foreign land, a tainted land, defending a faithless city that looks like nothing I've seen, from something I can't imagine. And you, after all that's happened, all you've done, I feel like I should drop to my knees and worship you, but I know you don't want that. Boy, things are pretty tough for you, huh? Thanks for telling the other Nora not to bow. It's the last thing I need. <laughs> don't be too hard on them. They only joined this fight because the Anointed bid it so. Is that why you came? No. I would have come just to see you one more time. And we must fight a metal devil, because the Goddess says. Or because you say. I think the Goddess and I are in agreement. We're both glad you're here. So am I. Your friend, the Vanguard, keeps looking over. Up here? I'm not sure if the world has grown bigger, or I've grown smaller. I apologize for the war chief. She is hating this. Your friend, the vanguard, keeps looking over. So who are these guys? They call themselves the Eclipse. What does that even mean? It's when the moon gets in front of the sun, idiot. Is that supposed to sound scary or something? I don't know. They used to be Karja. Karja are always yammering about sun and shade. Well, if they used to be Karja, how tough can they be? Yeah, they're best guys just like birds. We'll rip their little feathers off. And let's not get cocky, boys. Aloy. So here we are again, gearing up for a fight. Only this time it sounds like the bad guys have a lot more firepower. What are we up against, really? I'm not sure. But there's gonna be a lot of them, and they'll have machines. And if they get past us, it's not just Meridian that will fall. The rest of the world will go with it. Well, that's... big. It sounds like our kind of fight! Right, guys? Well, where do they put the vanguard? At, At the, the front, front of the line! line! And why? Steel before iron! And what are we gonna do? Hit them like a hammer till they can't hit, hit back. back! Damn right! You hear that? Nobody's getting past the vanguard. We're here for Meridian. And we're here for you. Thank you, Aaron. Ursa would be proud. Well, only if we win. What kind of machines have they got? Big, ugly ones. From the ancients. Ugly and ancient? Like your mother? Worse, like your wife. That's enough.
what I have to deal with. We gonna fight soon? I'm getting hungry. You're always hungry. Feasts on me. After we win. Beer too? Beer too. Well, you just can't leave me alone, can you? I think she likes you. You gonna kiss her, Captain? Shut up. Now. We'll just pretend that never happened. What kind of machines have they got? Big, ugly ones. From the ancients. Ugly and ancient? Like your mother? Worse, like your wife. That's enough. This is what I have to deal with. Sun priest. Natural youth, a true metal seller, knows to get his hands dirty! So many come to the Sunday and can't be bothered to work. Don't forget to stock up before you're on the ranch. I've got all the best goods here. The Sunday and Thanks. I'll give you a good price. Don't pass up these goods. Would you like to buy some goods?
about to start. Don't watch. Hide! Got all the best goods here. Try all the beam. Come take a look. I'll give you a good got price. all the best goods I'll here. Buy what you Could you spare a moment to speak of the finer things? An army of the rich. Save yourselves. Get out of the street. The enemy is here. to the gates. Pass up these gates. Children and the infirm, get them to safety as soon as you can. Colin's apartment feels empty. Should I sleep? Did I leave anything unfinished? This must be when the song was supposed to check in. <laughs> <laughs> 